It's the greatest rivalry in all of sports. It's the week that needs no introduction. It's the game that means everything to both teams on any given season, but even more so this year. You think about the implications. You have a couple guys in the Heisman race. You have a couple guys, you have two teams trying to win a Big Ten championship, trying to get to the college football playoff and compete for a national championship. You have two coaches who are in that conversation as all-time greats in coaching the game of football. Legacies are on the line. And all that means is the energy of this game, which is already high, it's amplified even to another level. So what's Michigan going to do? You know it. I know it. They know it. Illinois knew it. They want to run the football. Okay, so what, what are you going to do? You're going to load the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine guys in the box, right? Nine guys in the box. You're feeling pretty good about it. You're saying, hey, we're going to be able to stop this run. Michigan loves the pullers. Okay, you get one guy to kick out. Here's your double team. Okay, here's your kick out. Seal him. Here's your double team. Let's go. Here's a receiver going to take another element. And then you're driving down Main Street. You're driving down Main Street. Look at the movement right here. Completely sealed up. Sealed. Sealed. Remember the motion. That's going to take him with you, overruns it, and then you got Blake the Great. Would love to see him healthy, would love to see him at 100% for this game. He's that good of a back, he makes such a difference. Great vision, great cut, bang, burst through the hole, makes another guy miss. Receiver's blocking downfield, here comes his quarterback. Gonna help you out. Gonna help you out. Guys on the sideline loving it, the emotion, the emotion. A physical brand of football. That's the way Jim Harbaugh has always been. It's no mystery. Michigan won the physical battle last year. They will challenge Ohio State in the physical battle again this year. Now, this seems like something little, right? But this is really Michigan's offense. They kind of use the quick game effectively to complement the run game. So I put this on here because, hey, you can't just run the quick game and get three, four yards. You're going to have to get something more out of it. Ronnie Bell, their best receiver. What are you going to do? You're one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Can you tackle us? Little quick pass out to the flat. Great. Make a guy miss. First and 10, 17 yards. You can live with that, all right? You could either, you know, I know Michigan fans want to see more deep passes. They want to see the, the ball thrown downfield. Well, you could throw a 17-yard dig route, but it's the same thing if you get an easy, favorable completion and your guys make guys miss. I put that on. That's going to be the challenge here for these receivers is, is can you take a 3-4 easy yard completion and turn it into an explosive play? That's going to be the key. Physical. One tight end, two tight ends, three tight ends, four tight ends. You can call them a fullback. It doesn't matter. But really, down here, this, you see it? One yard, two yard line. Down here, this isn't about scheme. You're not going to scheme a beautiful play. This is about a mindset, an identity, physicality. You see the line drawn right here. There's a line of scrimmage. Let's just watch. Look at these guys. Look at the movement, the push. Now, Illinois is a great defensive front. That's an excellent defense. Bang. Bang. Check out this guy, right tackle right here. Boom, double team, lifts him up. And then Blake just has so much momentum. Let's check this out. The entire Michigan team scored. They tell us down the goal line, if you score with your man as a blocker, the running back's going to score. The entire Michigan team in the end zone, physical. Great, great job. Now, Jim Knowles, the defensive coordinator for Ohio State, has a distinct personality, a distinct identity hyper-aggressive. He wants to be downhill. He wants to blitz you. He wants to make you uncomfortable. You have to then call plays and execute to make that defensive coordinator question whether or not he wants to continue bringing the blitz. So when you think about a blitz play, you got guys, you're going to have guys running upfield, right? They're going to get up there. Well, if you can let these, make these guys miss and throw a little screen route, you're great. So here's a, here's a challenge. You leave one guy unblocked. 
You have another guy coming in to take a chunk of him, and then out into the flat Blake Corum. This wasn't a big time blitz by Illinois, but this is what you're going to have to do to beat Ohio State. A lot of green grass. And this guy might be one of the best transfers in college football. Look at that. Look at, look at Olu move here. Let's just, let's just keep our eyes on Olu. Watch this big fella move, 300 plus. Bang! On a defensive back. And then Blake, he's been heavy workload, might have ran out of a, a little steam there. I don't imagine when you're playing Ohio State that he'll be running out of any steam either. All right, let's see it. C.J. Stokes, going to have to help him out. We'll see if, how healthy Edwards is, how, health, how healthy Quorum is. He's a young back. Might be your time to shine. Once again, here comes the blitz. They got five down here. There's a guy blitzing. You only have five to block him. Can you still win with unfavorable numbers? Great job by the polar. Great job by the polar. Recognize it. Here's Inter to kick him out. Here's a man for a man. Sealed. Sealed. And then we're going to leave this guy unblocked because JJ is a capable runner. That's how you build the favorable numbers. So here goes CJ Stoke. Loses momentum right there. He's being grabbed. Get off me. Bang. And then let's see the burst. Can you then get back upfield? Because once you avoid that blitz, once you surpass the blitz and the blitz is, behind, blitz is behind you, that means there's less defenders downfield. That's where you can turn some very, very explosive plays. The opportunity in this game is for young guys that may not have had the chance to, you know, CJ Stokes, he can be a really good player down the stretch of the season. But in a game like this, you have the chance to then really, people start to talk about legacies. They start to, when they say your name, they say it with a little something extra. That's what you have in this game. And here's, here's where I think it doesn't get enough credit in terms of running the football. You think run, okay, well, they're just going to run the ball right downhill. It's going to all look the same. It's going to be, it's going to be easy to stop. But what Jim Harbaugh and Sharon Moore and Matt Weiss do is they show you looks and can run it a number of different ways out of it. So let's start with the emotion. Let's see what this happens. You see it's man to man, okay? So there's your, this guy is, is really your last line of defense out here. You see no one in the back of the field. Once again, everybody up in the line of scrimmage. So you're thinking, man, if we can just get a little bit of light out here, we're going to be good. So we're going to send Ronnie Bell in motion. This guy's going to go to man to man. So he's going to come with it. Now there's nobody out there, okay? The whole O-line is stepping to the right, okay? Again, you're running the, this, this jet sweep. It almost looks like it's a jet sweep, and then you're going to have Colston Loveland come back, normally to kick this guy out as if it's inside zone, but watch the technique here. See that little, watch this, this step in the ground right there by Loveland. He's not kicking you out because look at JJ's footwork. Look at the initial footwork. Everything looks like it's a run to the right until it isn't. Jet sweep. JJ opens up and then he hands it back underneath on a counter. And there goes Loveland up through the hole. So we can watch it all in real time. Watch it all develop. The motion gets rid of the defensive back. You hand it underneath on a misdirection. Quorum puts his foot in the ground. Quorum, another explosive run. Breaking tackles downfield. Just such a special back to watch. So, so talented. And they're going to need him. You know, and I know Blake Corum is, is, if he can go, he's going to go. Can other guys step up to help him out? Can the offensive line continue to create holes and create lanes for whoever is in the backfield? There's no excuses in this game. You go out there and you find a way to